Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the King M.A. Newsroom on this Friday afternoon. Renovation of a venerable Shenandoah structure is nearing the finish line. Belosia Incorporated owner Margaret Brady announced on her Facebook page Friday the opening date for the mill, formerly the Johnson Brothers Mill Building. Plans call for opening the building April 25th. It's the culmination of a project beginning in July 2022 when the Shenandoah City Council approved a resolution to support for Melosia's renovation of the structure at 818 West Sheridan Avenue. Brady described the amount of debris removed from the building in an update before the council back in November. 40 tons of old feed and debris have gone to Shenandoah Sanitation. That has cost us about $12,000 in just dumpster fee. They gave us a great deal on that. I'm going to thank Shenandoah Sanitation for that. Um, it's, I, at, right now I have 13,000 hours of my people in there working to get everything cleaned out. That's what, pretty much what we've been doing. And then I have Larry the scrap guy who's come and pulled a lot of metal out. He actually is paying me for the pleasure of that, so that has been great. Now, applications are being accepted for a wide variety of vendors for the facility, including fruits and vegetables, flowers, plants, baked goods, other items. A vendor's meeting takes place next Saturday morning at 10 at the mill there on Sheridan Avenue. Anyone with questions should call Margaret Brady at 712-246-9126. After weeks of delay and wrangling, there's a breakthrough at the State House on state education funding. Members of the Iowa House Education Committee Thursday approved a bill including a 3% increase in supplemental state aid for K-12 schools for fiscal 2025. State Representative Tom Moore is a committee member. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program this morning, the Griswold Republican says legislators missed the self-imposed deadline for setting SSA because of discussions over Gov Governor Kim Reynolds' proposals for massive changes to the state's area education agencies as well as her teacher compensation increase proposal. The reason we didn't get there was because of the AEA reform bill, and that just consumed the whole thing. And a part of that was the teacher compensation package, which that, as well as SSA, kind of uh, worked together when we start talking about budget. And so we had to be able to solve one before we could actually solve the other. Yeah, you can hear the full interview with Tom Moore with the web story at kmaland.com as well as on our Morning Line page. Elsewhere, state and local fire officials have determined what started a fire sweeping through a Glenwood auto repair shop Thursday. Six KMA Land departments battled the fire at Best Finish Auto Sales and Service at 209 East Sharp Street. Glenwood Fire Chief Matt Gray tells KMA News the state fire marshal ruled that spontaneous combustion of oil rags in the shop area sparked the fire that consumed the structure. Gray says the fire also damaged vehicles and equipment inside the repair shop. Gray says a dollar amount of the damage is unavailable. Firefighters from Council Bluffs, Red Oak, Silver City, Oak Township, and Malvern assisted Glenwood's department under mutual aid. KMA on track weather, mostly cloudy this afternoon. Highs in the mid-30s tonight, mostly cloudy, then clearing those in the mid-teens. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a great weekend. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.